This presentation is designed to give you my personal history of a commitment to Adventism. It is a presentation that I should have given on my birthday, but did not have the necessary time or the necessary display equipment. The presentation first gives my impressions of early visits to Fraser Valley Church. Secondly, it gives you my very early experiences of fellowship in the, in the Fraser Valley congregation. Thirdly, helping with the preparation of the anniversary souvenir program gave me the opportunity to dig a little deeper into Adventism. I must admit that Miller was initially presented to me as a hapless forecaster of doom and discussed with an air of ridicule. Camp Vedder was definitely a milestone. Camp Hope was a reluctant, but thanks to Julie, an extraordinary opportunity to delve very deeply into the history of, it, of Adventism and to experience the leading edge of biblical scholarship. Sixth, quantifying the, the, the potential size of the remnant revealed the unexpected. Accepting the truth of the trend of the prophecy gives us, ad, as Adventists, an immense responsibility. Finally, with the temerity, recklessness, of a relatively new Adventist, I can offer some ideas for reinvigorating our lukewarm Adventism. See Revelation chapter 3, verse 16, for an understanding of lukewarm. The first view of a functioning Adventist church, Fraser Valley, impressed me that the Sabbath school provided a unique, egalitarian, interactive learning atmosphere. Amazingly, in a church, free and open discussion was being solicited. Very conspicuously to me, the facilitator was part of the congregation. Knowing absolutely nothing, I could be induced to contribute. Fantastic. My very early experience of Adventist fellowship was very warm indeed. I immediately felt genuinely welcome and part of the church family in that when sick in the hospital, my first visitors were from Fraser Valley Church. Surprisingly, contrary to my experience with other religions, Adventists were not embarrassed to talk about their faith. Being thus associated with people of faith had a very positive effect on, on my view of functioning Adventists. In my language, Adventists are very confident in their skin. They are proud to be Adventists and do not hesitate to, to let the world or anybody know. Being associated with the preparation of the souvenir program for the celebration of the last anniversary of the Fraser Valley Church gave me the opportunity to, to delve a little deeper into Adventism. From such digging, three facts or truths emerged. There is st statistically significant evidence that Californian Adventists live longer, some years ago, than the general Californian population. This is attributed to a better lifestyle, rest, diet and exercise, better psychological health due to an extensive network of friends through, through fellowship, and of course a meaningful spiritual life. The Adventist faith is the only significant Christian faith whose world population is increasing. Christ's imminent return is the fundamental tenet of the Adventist faith, the apocalyptic vision. The Camp Veda experience was a very important milestone. Looking back, these facts are salient. The camp atmosphere was in no way seductive. I hate camping, the weather was cold and windy, the food was not appetizing, there were no hot drinks and the washroom was a two mile hike away. Sabbath school concentrated on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, which of course the, is the definition of unconditional love. I just felt an overwhelming need for commitment to Adventism and, 
an unquenchable thirst to learn a lot more. It is with some admitted reluctance that I attend the camp hope, but Julie insisted, and finally we stayed for a total of 10 days. I considered it to be a unique opportunity to be immersed in the history of the, of the emergence of Adventism, to pick up the significance and contribution of Miller, Bates and White, and to be exposed to leading edge biblical scholarship, particularly George Knight and John Pauline. I purchased a total of 11 books together with numerous CDs and DVDs. In this way, it was possible to, to pick up a real appreciation of the characters of Miller, Bates and White. Due to some mix of books and its schedule, I was able to spend a little time with George Knight and therefore, naturally, I purchased and read immediately what he considered to be his most important writing. The Apocalyptic Vision and the Neutering of, Ad of Adventism. Are we erasing our relevancy? John Pauline's presentations were riveting. These presentations gave a clear understanding of the meaning, size and implication of the remnant. It was salutary to appreciate that the remnant has to include all devout Jews, Christians and Muslims. John Pauline outlined the amazing, to me, commonality among these three major religions. This, of course, gave me a very strong incentive to get to the local run. I took some time to find a good translation. It is, in many respects, in my view, a beautiful book. All the above gives me a powerful grasp, a grasp of the Adventist responsibility. It is urgent that we spread the good news of our potential salvation to all our friends and loved ones. Salvation is, is incredibly simple in principle, faith in Jesus Christ and the acceptance and practice of unconditional love universally. The Bible, in spite of being the product of very many different people and cultures and its age, is a remarkably transparent document with powerful messages that are relevant today. Now, with the temerity, that is, the recklessness of a new Adventist, there is a natural impatience to, reinvig to reinvigorate our impatience. In my, bias, in my biased view, there is a need to reinforce our practice of, of Adventism through more discipline, innovation and continuity. Sabbath school should commence on time with, with a full alert attendance. Although we are not in the entertainment business, we should employ all their available techniques to keep us thoroughly interested. We should avoid rich, rote, ritual and tradition. Pastor Naidu has made leaps in this direction. His reinstatement of the, U of the Eucharist and midweek prayer meetings is fantastic. Our observing Vespers and making all our celebrations, particular birthdays, an Adventist opportunity to worship, leaders' ideas, adds to the continuity. Without doubt, securing a, a physical focus for all our activities is vital. We need our own church. The time is <clears throat> the time is right for massive brainstorming and accomplishment. Entrepreneurs to the fore. Probably due to my lack of underground knowledge, my exposure to AY activities emphasizes the lack of an Adventist focus. I have many more suggestions in this area. I am especially grateful for Leto's inspiration, his amazing faith, his help and his real fellowship. Thank you and blessings Leto. Demonstrating that incredibly powerful device has come in very small packages. Thank you Mahal.